But first, sometimes stress sneaks up on us, if you will, but you would be surprised to know you could have anxiety and not even realize it. Today we're helping you spot the hidden signs of anxiety that can be easy to miss. Studio 5 relationship coach, Dr. Matt Townsend is here with a few clues. Great to see you, my Good friend. Good to see you, welcome so back I, again. Thank you so much, I appreciate those welcome are you words. Are you more anxious now? Now that I have another baby, mm -hmm. I would probably say yeah. Yeah, I'm anxious for you. You are? Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, two times the fun, two <laughs> totally. times the diapers, two That's times right. Two times all. everything. Well, but when you say anxiety, wouldn't I know it if I was an anxious person? Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. But um, you might just think it's normal. You might just think having the sweats when you go to an event is normal. Like this is how yeah, everyone this lives. This is just how everybody works it. Or being terrified to do something or fear of failure and or fear of um, the unknown. You might think all of that is just totally normal. And so you don't know you have it. I know people that know they have it, but they don't want to deal with it. Or they think they have it because their mom has it, grandma has it, all of their sisters have right. it. But they're not sure if they have it even though they have all the same traits. Well, it's kind of funny when you set it up this way because my sister and I were talking the other day about a, a mutual friend we have. We love her dearly. My sister made the comment, Gosh, it must be tiring sometimes to be inside her head. She's very anxious. Uh -huh, she's yeah, very nervous. Yeah. She's very high strung. Yeah. She's very wound up. And I said to my sister, I said, I don't know that she n feels like she, she may is. not know. I don't know that she thinks. So she if is. that's normal, think about that. If if that's normal to you, then that's just how life is. Yeah. Except what's funny is then you start to you might have a put up some of these fake behaviors or certain things that you do that may, may be stopping you from succeeding, and you don't even know you're stopping yourself, when if you could just recognize what it is, then we can start to deal with it. And so I'm gonna run you through five signs that might indicate you have a little anxiety on board. Okay. And, and then I'm gonna just teach you very simply how to deal with the anxiety. The whole thing is very easy to deal with, believe it or not. Are you sure? Yeah, we, we wanna complicate it, but it's well, anxiety. So society makes anxiety and anxiousness feel like oh. a big heavy thing. Oh, totally. And but, but part of it that is is because we it's so all encompassing, but there's a side of this that all we have to do is deal with the anxiety. So the anxiety's there. All you need to really deal with is the anxiety instead of doing every other thing you do to pretend you don't have anxiety. Okay, sign and symptom number one you yeah. say is procrastination. So if you're a procrastinator and you put off big things and you wait and you actually have to be compelled or impelled by stress and nervousness to get something done uh -huh. and you wait till the very last minute and you always do it stressed out and you're always yelling and freaking out because you procrastinated, you might actually actually have anxiety. It might be that you're using procrastination as a way to not do what makes you anxious. So you put off, you do everything that doesn't make you anxious. Uh -huh. You've seen everything on Netflix, but you <laughs> haven't necessarily done what you need to get done today. And that could be your anxious and outlet. Sign. And part of the key to this is if you can start to tie your procrastination more to just anxiety. So if it's chronic, procrastination and it's always about going to church you're always to church late you're always to church running and screaming yelling at your kids to get in the car we're going to church <laughs> if that's what you're doing then you've got a bigger problem is that your house that's on a Sunday our morning house sometimes? every Sunday morning <laughs> just get in the car we're going to worship we're <laughs> Shut your mouth. We're going to worship now. It's beautiful. Lovely. I it's felt a it. I felt thing. that spirit. I it's did. It's so neat. But so if you can tie that, that is not procrastinating. That is a little anxiety. Okay. And the anxiety makes you not get going on what you like to do. What does it mean if we uh, doubt ourselves often? Huge issue. So another sign of anxiety might be kind of um, a lack of decision making, kind of a sense that you're not good at this, indecisiveness. If you can't make a decision to save your life and you can't decide, I don't know if I want Taco Bell or Taco Time. I can't <laughs> decide. If you can't decide, then that might be you having self-doubt. But everybody has self-doubt. Well, well self-doubt is different than you not being able to decide if we go to Taco Bell well, or Taco Well, but everybody time. has a level of indecision, don't you think? I don't know. Really? I don't, well, I've met a lot of people that have no indecision, <laughs> and they just kind of know what they want, and they just go get it. But if all of a sudden you cannot make a decision, and because every decision has 50 other iterations and 50 other what-ifs, and what if I did this, but if I did this, I couldn't do this, and if I couldn't do this, then I wouldn't be this, 
And if I'm not this, then what will I be? Now I'm feeling stressed. Now who am I going to yell at? Now I'm feeling so, stressed. So if you feel a lot of indecision, a lot of lack of knowing where you need to go with your life, no, think about that. Anxiety would make you indecisive, so you don't do anything that puts you in danger. You don't move. You don't, you don't move. So Just stay still. What's the solution for that? Part of the key, again, is notice that you're having the trouble okay. and tie it to a little bit of anxiety instead of just thinking, I just don't know how to make decisions. Or I ask, I ask a lot of people about their, their problem or about why they can't make a decision, and they always say, I don't know. Don't ever just give up on I don't know. You're not allowed to just say I don't know. It's your life. You got to figure it out. So if you don't know, is it anxiety? Do you tend to stress about things that don't exist yet? Do you make up things? Another issue that we have is complication. A lot of people that have anxiety tend to complicate. They, they tend to make it harder. Too hard. And you don't need to make everything harder. You don't need to make it when you could just do one centerpiece. You don't need to do four. You could just do one, but sometimes we complicate things or we complicate problems. I did it uh, the other day. I'm like, I really want to have this in a webinar that I'm doing, but I, what if I do it this way? And if I do it this way, then this way, and I'm trying to please 20 things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that are all based in my anxiety of wanting to make sure this works. So if, if, if I start complicating it, so a sign for me that a little stress or anxiety is kicking in mm -hmm. is when, I, when I'm starting to make it harder than it needs to be. Mm -hmm. When I do my stuff for your show, I don't, I don't need to make it as hard as I make it. And so like today I was able to pump one of these segments out really fast. Because I just said I'm not going to complicate it. I'm just going to make I'm it easy. Gonna I'm going to keep it simple. Down. Well, and that kind of ties into your next sign, which is perfectionism. Yeah, I think a lot of huge. women can connect with this. Totally. The anxious feeling that comes when you're trying to make something just so or yep. do something just that way. Now, think about that. If you have kind of chronic anxiety where your body, your chemistry is always kind of creating stress for you, wouldn't the perfect paradigm be that you need to be perfect? Because if you're perfect, it actually excuses why you feel stressed all the time. Because for heaven's sakes, I'm striving for perfection. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to be perfect? <laughs> so you now justified all this emotion, all this energy. So your brain, remember, whatever your body's feeling, your mind will start making up a reason for it. So complicating, procrastinating, self-doubting, these are all the reasons your mind makes up for why you feel so stressed. I know anxiety is a real problem, but playing devil's advocate, do you feel like yeah. we overuse the word sometimes? You would, yeah, I think we do overuse the word. I don't even like the word anxiety, so I, I just call it worry. Worry. And I don't, I, I just, I, I think mainly the big key is, is if it's impeding you from being the best you, then let's not get hung up on that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we do now know more and more people are becoming anxious, and it might just be we're diagnosing it more, we're sure. calling it more things. Sure. But we also are actually underpreparing more. We we're becoming a little, I think, m more informed and less active. So we know a lot more about what we should be doing, but we have n we're, we're not doing any we're not of it. Moving on mm -hmm. it. Well, you're helping people get moving yeah. and lead the Shake life it. they want to lead through That's these right. anxiety workshops. Yeah, that you're putting I have on. a great program called Anxious and Engaged, and. It's a webinar, it's online, it's four hours. It, it just it gives you immediately about 20 tools to start working on. Wow. It'll help you identify if you're a highly sensitive person or a Ferrari, we call you. Not just a Chevy, you're a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. So uh, if people go to matttownsend.com, you can then sign up for the program. And if you sign up for the program and put in Studio 5, we give a 30% discount nice. just for one week. So this week only, Get signed up and get in there. If you meet any of this criteria, you feel you're a little anxious, get in there and we'll teach you how well, to start I working. I noticed it. double diapers was not a sign and symptom on the list. No, so I guess nothing. I'm good. So I mean, good. I'm dealing with double you're diapers, but I guess I'm good. Thank